Greetings, Zoe, and welcome to day five of our fast and devotional. Be reminded that our Sunday service this weekend will continue to be an online experience only, and we will continue this format until at least the end of March. If you need prayer or material assistance, please call us at 562-906-5000, extension 100, or email us at info at zcf.org. Yesterday, I gave you a challenge that while you wash your hands, you quote scripture, that while you use hand sanitizer, you pray, that while you take natural precautions, you also take spiritual ones. I want to reiterate that today. We have to be just as diligent to do the spiritual things as we are to do the natural things. Yes, we need to quarantine from germs, but we also need to quarantine from fear. We need to isolate ourselves from all the negative feelings and forecasting from the news. Check the news for basic updates and essentials, but limit your exposure from news that provokes fear, anxiety, and self-centeredness. Some of us have used more hand sanitizer than we've used in our entire lives. That's how we need to be about the word. We should be quoting, meditating on, and memorizing more scripture than we ever have before. Let the word be your spiritual hand sanitizer. To this end, I've posted to the blog several scriptures that you can quote as you're going throughout your day. And I'll quote a few of them here. Let's start with Deuteronomy 31 and 8. It says this, It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. 2 Timothy 1, 7. For God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and of self-control. 1 John 4, 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world do I give it to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Zoe, I'll see you on Sunday for another power-packed online experience. In the meantime, be wise, be safe, and be encouraged. God bless you.